What's up everyone? Welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and here we are sharing some ideas about a frugal lifestyle. I don't do those boring videos about the, compo the compounding effect or long-term financial goals and so on. I, uh, I show you my real life and uh, you, can, um, you can see how my financial habits play on the ground uh, in, uh, in, in the real circumstances and a hot hello from Siberia all the way from Novosibirsk city which is an official capital of Siberia and on the background you can see uh, the entrance uh, to the uh, to the barber shop there co that called uh, Strzejewski um, and um, the founder uh, the founder of this uh, barber shop uh, the, uh, sorry, the, the founder of franchise of, the, uh, of this barber shops, uh, uh, the, of, of this chain of barber shops, uh, uh, is uh, uh, Alexander Dolgov, uh, who was uh, uh, my who, who is my former colleague, uh, um, and walking down the memory line, uh, it was early. 2000s and uh, we we used to work here uh, in uh, in the uh, 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 in the company that called uh, uh, that called uh, clean water or pure water uh, and uh, this time around uh, this call uh, it, it was uh, the found it was the water, uh, the first water delivery company here in Siberia, that was founded by uh, Chet German, uh, from my first boss from the United States, and uh, he sold this company to early, I guess, and uh, definitely this uh, uh, this company became uh, one of the major players in the Russian water delivery markets and uh, uh, back uh, to the uh, back to the 2005 I was involved in in, in, in the M&A deal in, the, in, in one of the first actually M&A deals uh, uh, here in Siberia in Novosibirsk city uh, between Nestle company uh, Nestle company and uh, our company uh, and we were acquired uh, the company that called uh, called holy water and this time around it's translation for Russian but uh, to give you some vibe and just some meaning of this branding all right uh, it, it called Святой Источник in, in, in Russian and uh, this time around it, it belongs to the Alpha Group uh, of Mi 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 Michael Friedman and or Michael Friedman if you wish and uh, uh, Michael Friedman and uh, Alpha Group uh, and his partners of course uh, and uh, so I, I'll give you the scoop what's going on here in the special part really special part of Novosibirsk city that called uh, that called uh, Akadem Garadok or the city of science, uh, right? The part of Novosibirsk city that belongs to uh, and totally devoted uh, that totally devoted to the Russian Academy of Science that was founded in late uh, 18th century. And on the background, you can see uh, you can see the typical. Uh, office of Invitra company. Invitra is uh, is uh, the major player in Siberian and may maybe even in Russian market in uh, uh, regarding with uh, diagnostic, uh, you know, medical tests, especially during those uh, uh, times of uh, uncertainty during the era of COVID. Um, uh, Invitra is uh, uh, would, Invitra would be your peak. If you would like uh, to to make uh, uh, 
and some uh, medical tests and um, I guess it's really a reliable brand um, and here in this part of Novosibirsk city uh, we have a really special architecture style by the way uh, feel free to check out my uh, previous videos about uh, this part of Novosibirsk city so um, a really special time uh, uh, sorry for, for the, for the background noise um, uh, as you can see it's sort of it's sort of uh, between maybe uh, social constructivism uh, that you are familiar with uh, if you are my friend uh, I, I, I made a lot of videos uh, uh, from Novosibirsk city uh, with uh, social constructivism or um, and and maybe between uh, yeah sort of between social constructivism and maybe Khrushchev uh, style like uh, uh, later uh, so ne next wave of Soviet architecture uh, it goes without saying that uh, the communist era w was the game changer for uh, Novosibirsk city especially during the World War II uh, when many uh, many uh, many plants uh, like industries manufacturing uh, were uh, relocated uh, to, to the Novosibirsk city and of course science uh, uh, science uh, uh, I maybe even with a nuclear program uh, also uh, uh, was uh, invent, uh, involved uh, in this process and so uh, that's why uh, uh, here we have uh, the huge part of, uh, of the Russian Academy of Science and uh, recently Novosibirsk became the city of the second Russian vaccine against COVID-19 and also here you'll have sort of uh, the, the St. Peters, Petersburg vibe in Novosibirsk city uh, it's all about Academ, Academ city or Academ Gradog uh, by the way today is, uh, today is 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is like 34 degrees Celsius and also um, also uh, we are uh, currently uh, we are walking uh, along the uh, sea avenue one of the nicest places in uh, here in uh, academic city or in the city of science uh, on the background you can see the other one bar the other one barber shop uh, and they have quite a interesting entrance and check out this uh, check out this range yeah. uh, so uh, yeah they're nicely implemented in the soviet style building so, uh, Recently I made the video uh, uh, when I uh, showed you some connection between uh, Siberia and the history of Europe uh, with the graffitis with uh, Nicholas II and uh, actually I, uh, I, I'm gonna to repeat Rest, uh, myself um, uh, repeat myself uh, that Siberia is the uh, most uh, underestimated part of, of 
Europe and also um, uh, I guess uh, I mean in terms of tangible assets and uh, in, in the way that Siberia e even uh, doesn't uh, uh, doesn't have this asso association with, with Europe, you know, like uh, uh, Siberia has seven time zones, Siberia has um, 40 languages, I mean people in Siberia spoken, uh, speak, uh, speak uh, 40 different languages, 10 of them are official and um, we are mountain pot of cultures and uh, we have ma the mountain pot of cultures here and uh, so uh, I guess uh, um, it, it, when, when you look at this building uh, buildings with uh, probably uh, a little bit more modern uh, style than you can find usually in Europe um, I mean like uh, again uh, affected by uh, social constructivism uh, but over overall uh, uh, also speaking about uh, um, architecture uh, as you can see uh, we don't have any premiums for balconies uh, or for, for, for a balcony uh, sorry. we uh, you don't pay here any premium for a balcony the price of apartment will be pretty much the same or or at least the similar uh, so on the background you can see and uh, one of the office uh, offices of the of one of the um, real estate uh, real estate agencies so central agency and here we go we are almost near the concert hall of uh, of uh, that belongs to, to the Russian Academy of Science Sorry. unfortunately uh, unfortunately the uh, pedestrian cross uh, crossing to a little bit far from here I guess it's like hundred or a couple of hundred meters I'm not fully sure that we can observe uh, this building uh, in this video but uh, as you can see uh, I wouldn't say something uh, that there is something sophisticated uh, uh, in terms of uh, exterior I mean architecture style uh, typical Soviet building you know if you've seen one you've seen them all and um, at this uh, on the other hand I guess uh, uh, if you're my friend you, you already know that it's sort of um, it's sort of it's uh, the Oh, by the way, it's the um, Oriflame, Oriflame branch, Sweden MLM company, um, and uh, typical housing again. Uh, it's sort of uh, uh, remark, uh, hellmark. It's sort of hellmark, or um, of the, or maybe. Uh, uniqueness uh, it's sort of uniqueness of uh, this style of uh, the former Soviet Union when uh, social infrastructure uh, meant to be uh, more uh, uh, meant to be really functional uh, you know uh, and they uh, they were definitely um, uh, they were definitely uh, struggle with uh, uh, with the quality of m uh, construction materials, but at the same time, uh, uh, 
they uh, when uh, uh, this country went to this uh, um, ex eccentric in the early 20th century this com this country and other 15 countries of the former Russian Empire went to the to this uh, um, astonishing and uh, eccentric experiment uh, social experiment and uh, many uh, people uh, lost their property uh, like uh, my grand grandfathers uh, that uh, uh, the uh, who were who were the pioneers uh, they were the pioneers here in Siberia and uh, they uh, they uh, they lost their comp their uh, uh, not companies sorry, they they lost their property and uh, they land uh, their land and uh, so I guess uh, it was really uh, harmful in terms of entrepreneurship is the spirit of this country uh, that was uh, like uh, 13 certain percent of the world's GDP uh, uh, if we are speaking about uh, the Russian Empire uh, it was uh, be before before the World War one it was uh, Roughly, it was 13 percent of the uh, of the GDP uh, of the worldwide uh, GDP, and uh, it was the best time uh, for Russian culture, probably in terms of economic uh, uh, in terms of uh, economics uh, and so. Uh, uh, on the background, you can see the uh, the main part of this building. I mean, concert hall of uh, of the uh, science house. Uh, so, uh, why pedestrian crossings? We always there are always pedestrian crossings crossings with. Uh, come down uh, you, you can see how many how, how much time you have to cross uh, uh, the, the street and also so here's the upgrade right comparing to the uh, to the previous part of this building uh, and so it's sort of uh, it's uh, the concert hall of uh, of the Science City, uh, there are extra parking spots for people with special needs, of course, as always in Russia and in, in Siberia, of course, including Siberia, at least in Siberia, I'm not really sure about all Russia, but every, every shopping mall or uh, public building has those things, so I'm not really sure that we have. Uh, let's, uh, we can get inside. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, uh, temporary closed till till 15 August. Uh, so uh, maybe it's uh, it has something to do with the current uh, upstick of COVID-19. So uh, thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, please uh, press some some up and uh, please uh, rem please remember to subscribe with notifications. And again, thanks for coming along. Thanks for using Finance with Tony. And of course, uh, uh, of course, Karen is sharing. And please remember to subscribe. Have an awesome day.